A major update has just hit the oldest anarchy server in Minecraft. Just yesterday, 2B2T received possibly the biggest update in its history. The contents of this update destroy 2B2T's integrity as an anarchy server and ruins the entire point of playing. This update has caused an uproar from their player base, enraging each and every soul to the point where everyone has come together in protest. The player base is currently more unified than the United States after 9-11. It's as if Housemaster is tearing 2B2T limb by limb before brutally crucifying it and letting it bleed to its demise. With all that being said, let's jump right into these atrocious changes. So here we are on the official 2B2T website, and as you can see, there was an update posted on the 14th of August 2023 about a 1.19 update. Now before we jump into that, let's take note of the tabs that we have up here. So we have modifications, about, rules, we'll come back to that later, subreddit, and shop. Anyways, so 1.19 update. The server has been updated to version 1.19. Now, I don't think this move from 1.12 to 1.19 in itself is all that bad because any player would agree that the server was getting boring on 1.12. If you play the server for more than like a month, you realize that everything you do is just the same thing over and over again and there's just no new content. The only form of new content really was just the new exploits, the new hacks that you could use on the server. Those were literally the only things that made the server any fun. Now with the introduction of 1.19 into the server, not only will there be new content Minecraft related, a new version means new exploits to be discovered. And that could potentially mean a lot more content for players looking for the true anarchy experience of fucking everything up. This is not bad. Alright, so let's keep scrolling. So this, this was setting a lot of people off, right? It is a soft item economy reset. Now, as you all know, 2BTT is an anarchy server and there has been multiple duplication glitches over the 10 years that it's been up. So in his words here, he says certain items have been removed or have had their stack size to one. Meaning if you had, for example, a stack of 16 ender pearls, if you logged in right now, that it would be one, just a singular ender pearl. He says that the intent of this is to get players to work and obtain these items again. Now, if we keep reading here, he says over the server's decade, various dupe glitches, significant damage, wah wah wah, right? Whatever. His fix to this is to completely remove some items while reducing a shit ton of items from stack sizes, like from full stack sizes to one. Like, as he says here, reduced or removed. He says end crystals are completely removed, bottle of enchanting, completely reduced, god apples reduced, totems of undying completely removed. And it's funny that he says the list is not long, as if it did not contain pearls, coarse fruit, arrow stacks, golden carrots, poker shells, dragon egg stacks, diamond block stacks, beacon stacks, redstone items, chest stacks, brewing supplies, and shulkers of inner chests are completely erased. Yeah, it's not looking good. I can understand why so many people are not happy with this. This is clearly an infringement upon the idea of it being anarchy. You're just straight up removing so many items from everyone's belongings. It's just crazy. Moving on, we got bad items. All items with illegitimate values for durability enchants or stack sizes have been removed. This probably won't affect a lot of you because all of this was in 2019, 2018 when 32Ks and stacked armor was a thing. But if you did have like shulkers of like pig spawners or spawners, which I did, um, this is probably gonna remove it of course next thing old chunk trimming this is basically saying that over the 10 years the server has been up a whole shit ton of terrain has been generated and a majority of that terrain players have not interacted with it so these chunks of land will now be completely removed and regenerated as 1.19 terrain and this is just to help transition the whole server into like a 1.19 kind of vibe you know what i'm saying maps pointless uh world generation basically you can't copy the seed anymore i don't see why this is important anti-cheat so back in 2020 or 2021 Housemaster up the anti-cheat, making it pretty much impossible to fly with an elytra, completely disabling Alder Totem. Stupid. Doesn't make sense. And now it has been updated to keep the anti-cheat more strict, which is completely the opposite of what an anarchy server is meant to be. Um, animal spawning. Animals will now start spawning correctly. If you've ever played TBTT, you realize that animals are actually nowhere to be found in like a 1 million block radius around the spawn. It's crazy. It's very dumb. He's hopefully fixed it now, I guess. That's great. Monster spawning, same thing. Phantoms disabled. Player obfuscation. It is no longer possible through cheats to see another player's items or enchantments or durability or health. I don't see how this is in any way helpful to anything. This is just, 
You know how there's like quality of life changes? This is the opposite of that. Duplication prevention. There's now a system in place to prevent duplication of items. This is obviously gonna get bypassed somehow. There's always been dupe preventions in the past and they've always found ways to get around them. End dimension is now open. The dragon fight has been reset. Whatever. Uh, here are some experimental changes that are active indefinitely that may revert later. Anti-X-ray. This is just so dumb. X-ray is like the most basic hack ever and he's just like disabling it. What is the point of disabling X-ray in an anarchy server? You tell me. And lastly, all servers are back to US East location, which will hopefully give you better ping. No one gives a fuck. The lag is just so dog shit, it doesn't matter where you live, okay? Anyways, that's the update. I said we'll come back to the rules, so let's click on rules. On an anarchy server, anarchy, the definition is that there are no rules, no laws, lawless. And here we have a tab for rules. Now what's this all about? Well, it's exactly what it says. It is a tab for rules on an anarchy server. Chat rules. You might get freaking muted on an anarchy server. You might have your ability to connect to the server temporarily prevented. So a temp ban on an anarchy server. The server attempts to prevent as much cheating as possible. I don't know. It's an anarchy server. Is it supposed to have anti-cheat? To be honest, probably a little bit. A little moderation is fine to prevent lag and to keep the server playable. But to the extent that Housemaster is applying anti-cheat is just kind of dumb in my opinion. Now earlier I did mention that this community has come together in protest and of course there's already been a discord made with over a thousand members and their goal is basically to get their voice to Housemaster to let them know about the horrible decision he has made. There is a tab for their demands. This is basically the declaration of independence for 2B2T players. It's kind of LARP, but at the same time, I read through it, it's not that unreasonable considering the selling point of 2B2T as an anarchy server. I feel like a lot of these are a standard for anarchy servers and that they shouldn't be taken away from the players. So um, if you want to join the server, link is down in the description. Feel free to come here and read this for yourself. Yeah, it's just a little bit on the LARP side but it's okay considering the degree in which this update is affecting players. Shout out to Axper for letting me know about this information and basically giving me this video idea. So yeah, that's it for this one. Later.